Over the past year, AMP has made great strides in the struggle for justice in Palestine. The movement is changing, and AMP is at the forefront of progress. We're making changes in Congress. For the first time in history, the number of congressmen and women are taking a positive stand on the issue of Palestine, and this number is quickly approaching 10%. We have doubled the number of delegates who participated in the second annual Palestine Policy Day on Capitol Hill. We helped build a coalition of more than 60 organizations representing more than a million constituents to protest Benjamin Netanyahu in March. We met with State Department officials to demand the protection of Al-Aqsa Mosque and the freedom to worship. This effort has been supported by 21 Christian and Jewish organizations. We successfully campaigned to get the U.S. State Department to pressure Israel to release Palestinian journalist Mohammed al qiq who had been on the longest hunger strike to date. We expanded our Ramadan date boycott to include asking store owners not to order Israeli dates. We've seen more than 50 university student governments vote for divestment from Israel in the past few years. We've obtained more than 150,000 signatures on our petition asking vacation rental company Airbnb to stop listing units in Israeli settlements as part of the Stolen Homes Coalition. We supported the United Methodist Church when it voted to exclude five Israeli banks from its portfolio. We're helping SJPs and MSAs nationwide in bringing Palestine to U.S. campuses. <laughs> Yet another Ramadan is upon us, and Palestine and Al-Quds are still under occupation. The Judaization and Zionization of Palestine continues. Another Ramadan, and Gaza remains under a crippling and inhumane siege. Another Ramadan, impeded by an apartheid wall, by settlements and settler violence. Another Ramadan is upon us, and our government continues to support this aggression, continues to finance this occupation, and continues to facilitate Israel's injustices politically. AMP works on your behalf, on behalf of all American Muslims, Arabs and people of good conscience to bring about justice to this cause, to bring the Palestinian narrative to American streets, schools, college campuses, and to the forefront of media discourse. Now AMP is in DC, establishing roots, building coalitions, opening new channels and media outlets to convey the facts of Palestine and Al-Quds to the White House and Congress. And the occupation now. Can we count on you to support these essential endeavors? The time for action is now.